drug us. I was afraid we lost you. Mm. Oh, the... An insatiable abyss. And sleep. Oh, that was going to consume me forever. You were asleep a little over a year, my friend. In that time, I've made some friends among the locals. Sadly, things aren't looking good. And your brother is gone. I have no idea where he went. He's like the wind, that boy. We need you. Vadim. Blood. A doe. A sheep. A rat, even. I can think of nothing else. I'm struggling not to turn on you. Let's not waste time, then. I've prepared something for you, Dragus. Come. I tried to check on you as often as possible. It's also a good observation point. For a while, Sangavi and Flora never ceases to surprise me. I'm more surprised by that rumble. <laughs> Count Laskar mentioned that landslides sometimes happen in the old quarry. It's... it's nothing. Just a few rocks. I can dig through. You want to break down those boulders? You're exhausted. If we're stuck here and my bloodlust takes over, I won't risk your life. smell blood, but the scent is sweeter than ever. Vadim, what have you done? You'll see soon enough. Trust me.
I don't want to do this, Vadim. I don't want to slaughter him. I can't. My friend, he's a cattle thief. The locals caught him and brought him here. They tried to beat him to death. I chased them away because to batter a man like that is unjust. To kill someone with no trial. But he will die. I know it. My herbs can't heal him. His death is pointless. It can benefit only you. He might be a thief, but I am not a murderer. You're not a human, either. I can't. This man did me no wrong. I won't take his life, even if it were an act of mercy. You can fight your true nature, but sooner or later you will give in to it. And sooner rather than later! Drink up, little brother. You need to grow big and strong. As per usual, I didn't expect anything wise from you, Rasvan. <laughs> what? Would he be better off starving? Where have you been? We needed you. Here and there. I explored the lovely area. I went hunting. Whose blood did you drink? Where did you leave the body? We have to be careful if we don't want an angry mob at our door. What door? Dragus promised us a castle, and then he disappeared for a year in a musty coffin in some hole. Anyway, the bodies were swallowed by the swamp, and no one will see them again. That family wasn't even from here. I'm no fool. Family? An entire family? Do you have but a scrap of remorse? Uh, this old tale of Rosbin the Mad again? You know, I think I'm fed up with it. We'll talk about it later. In about 50 years when... Ah, never mind. By then, your bones will have turned to dust anyway. <laughs> are you two done? I sure am. And you... You are just getting started. You will always hunger for human blood. And with each passing day, you will crave it all the more. <sighs> Vardin, you spoke of some problems in the village. We will discuss everything in my cabin. Rasvin, you should come with. Oh, are you inviting me into your humble abode? So we are on the same side. He has been nothing but trouble since birth. And now he also has vampire powers. What could possibly go wrong? He's right, though. I've been gone too long. It would be a good idea for me to find out what problems plague the people of Madresti before I take any action. the tramp you brought with you? Don't we have enough trouble as it is? This is Dragos, Lord of the Madresti Castle. The one who was rewarded with these lands for saving Laskar's life a year ago. Oh, your lordship. Have mercy. I, I didn't know. Strangers mean nothing but trouble here. Now you know who I am. Tell your neighbors about my arrival.
your lordship isn't already at the castle? It's already so late. It's dark. Windy. And gloomy. What's new in the village? Nothing's happening in the village. But Boyette said that... Necessary. <sighs> the unrest in Madresti is getting worse and worse. This place needs a strong leader. We must begin by showing the people that you will be their ruler. They will definitely notice me in this outfit. And from afar. It's cozy here. I remember these were just ivy-covered ruins. It's been decades since anyone has lived here. Lascar took possession of these lands, but had no intention of living in Madresti. I found out that this house belonged to the Major Domo of the previous master of the castle. Major Domo? <laughs> I've always wanted to have a Major Domo. This role was made for you, Vadim. Will you finally tell me what's going on in the village? I don't even know where to start. Everyone is having a hard time, and they blame everyone but themselves for their misfortune. They worship the Forest Mother here. She is a protective deity bound to the villagers' daily life. They perform peculiar rituals in her name. Their beliefs are full of superstitions that are hard to follow. These people are not so different from the people of our home village. They deserve our help. Right now, unfortunately, they are primarily driven by fear. In our land, vampires were also a superstition. What if some of these beliefs are true? Possibly. However, for now, the peasants are simply lost. They need a leader. Someone they can turn to for help instead of succumbing to mob mentality. And a stranger living in a cave doesn't inspire trust. I understand what you're getting at. What condition is the castle in? It's in shambles. It needs to be raised to the ground. Count Lascar promised us the moon, but we're given a handful of dust. It would take years to rebuild. It would have taken years. Had we been human. I'll take a look and see what can be done. Wait. Eventually, you'll need blood again. You have to hunt. And in this fancy outfit, you'll draw attention. The hunter's outfit prevents recognition. Just be careful. People in Madresti may be scared if they see someone dressed like this. These people need a leader, not another boogeyman. And the leader needs a castle. I hope everything is going as planned. The people of Madresti are counting on you. Rasvan was right. This place... 
It's not even a shadow of its former glory. It's a ghost of the past. We have to start over. That's a good start. The old castle is a ruin, but I'm sure we'll be able to use something. These are precious resources. It's a better solution than the cave, there's no doubt about that. Now it's time to take care of the resting place.
two feet over instead of six feet under. A nice change. I still need a coffin. Dragus, there's a stir in the village. A crowd's gathering. They're, they're shouting. I, I had a feeling that something bad was going to happen. It's good that you woke me up then, my friend. We can deal with the castle later. I'll go see what's happening. I hope it's all just fuss and feathers. Good luck. If I want to build something special, I need more materials. I need to have a place to store them. Chests and coffins look pretty decent to me. Maybe I should become a carpenter. Window frames will not be a challenge, but the glass is a bigger problem. I need a furnace. Despite the heat coming from the furnace, my hands are still cold. I need sand to melt into glass. There should be plenty of it along the river. I should have servants for that. 
I plan to change that soon. It's time to put the furnace to the test and melt glass. This is surprisingly clear. That's a good start. Now I can let my imagination run wild and create a place worthy of no 